guys, Jason here. Welcome back. Today I wanted to do a review on this Pawn CNC 80 millimeter spindle. I've had the spindle for a few months now and I kind of wanted to give you my overall thoughts on the Pawn CNC spindle, what kind of results I've been able to get from it, and go over some of the pros and cons that I found after having used it for a few months. So a few months ago we got our Pawn CNC spindle and I did a video about the install. It was a very easy system to install and set up. We've been using it now for a couple of months and I gotta say having used the Makita router for almost four years the Pawn CNC spindle is a massive upgrade. So some of the biggest differences are the size of the collet. The collet is an ER20 collet on this 80 millimeter spindle, which allows you to go with not only with the quarter inch bits, but you also can do the half inch bits, as well as the eighth inch bits. And the machine comes with all of those collets. So you get all three collets, the one eighth, the quarter inch, and the half inch with your purchase of the spindle, which I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, the machine also came with um, some really nice wrenches. These wrenches are really easy to use and make it very simple to do bits changes. I was going to do this whole video on chip load and the different speeds that I was doing. I was using a laser thermometer to get accurate temperatures of all the different speeds. I had an old video prepared but the video <laughs> messed up and so we're not going to be able to show you that. However, I am going to kind of go over the results that I got. I did two different speed ranges. I did 18,000 RPM and we also did 22,000 RPM. The spindles generally rate more horsepower at the top end of their RPM ranges versus the Makita router. The Makita router's butter zone is around 16,500 RPMs or between the two and the three on the dial, whereas the spindles generate their most horsepower around 22,000 RPM. Now, if you've looked at our chip load video, you would know that the faster the RPM that you spin, the faster the feed rate that you need to achieve to get the same chip load. However, on these hobby style machines, the limiting factor is actually the rigidity of the machine. So in our setup, the rigidity of our machine is what starts limiting how fast we actually can go. Basically, you can push these machines until you start experiencing a lot of chatter. Now, I went through a whole range of speeds starting out at 100 inches a minute. We went all the way up to 300 inches a minute. In our 18,000 RPM test, I noticed that we were getting the best results around 150 to 200 inches a minute. We did all these tests with a quarter inch upcut. I actually used an O flute, and O flute is a single flute bit. When we changed to the 22,000 RPM, I noticed that going at the 200 to 250 inch per minute range actually gave us better results. So we were able to achieve a faster speed at 22,000 RPM and we were able to go a little faster on the machine. Around 250 inches a minute was our best results. And so I feel like that the machine actually operates a little better at those higher RPMs. This is a piece of cherry wood, and cherry is on the softer of the hardwoods. It's not the softest of hardwoods, but it's a good medium range, and it gave us a good test measurement. Another super big benefit of having a spindle is the sound. These spindles are extremely quiet when operating. I'm going to turn it on. Now I do have the water cooled unit and so there is a water pump that is operating off of a IoT switch and that's under my table. I have this spindle set to 22,000 RPM but you can hear I can easily talk over this and it's not that loud. By far, the loudest thing in my shop is my VAC system. I have to say, uh, the speed increase alone in all of my cuts has been well worth this upgrade. This has been a fantastic unit. This unit is very quiet, it's powerful, and I definitely think it's worth going for an upgrade. All the guys at Pawn CNC are super responsive, have excellent support. At the time of this recording, there wasn't any lead time in shipping, so these spindles can be shipped out right away and there's no long wait 
Overall, I don't really have any negatives about the spindle. It has exceeded all of my expectations, and I really think this is a great upgrade. I want to personally thank Pawn CNC for developing such a great product and allowing us to demonstrate and test it. I'm going to have some links in the description below that are our affiliate links. Using those links helps our channel out, and we do appreciate the support. Guys, if you have any questions or comments about this spindle or how it might compare to the Makita router, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks, guys. See you on the next one. Don't just own your CNC. Dominate it.